Mogling, Carlane, or Helen R.D. over at Starship Modeler, welcome to the workshop. Alright, just a little update here. I've gone ahead and put the end caps on the engines. And as you can see, put the lens here. I'll mask those off for painting. But for now, this is where it sits. I'm going, because of the way I did the stand, the wires will cause the base to sit unevenly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some putty to fix these resin pieces to the bottom of the base piece. Give it a little more stability and make it so I don't have to worry about it toppling over as much. Big next step is going to be the flight pods. Got a lot of work to do on those. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not. But I have my first bits of photo etch in place. I haven't glued the top down on the flight pod, but as you can see, I've got both the fore and aft museum grills in place to close off the starboard flight pod as the Galactica was right before she was going to be retired. Next up, the girders. Okay, what we got there is one kind of mutant looking caterpillar, but in the end, let me get down at a better angle, you'll actually be able to make out girder detail inside the hanger bay. I figured I'd start with the starboard pod, because that way if I screw it up, it won't matter too much. Just a second. can't really see anything in there. I'll see what I can do about getting a still of what that looks like inside, but I'll probably include that with the video. Nothing too fancy here, just basically a coat of gray primer to the insides of the flight pods and to the flight decks themselves. Once the primer is dry, I'll probably wait till tomorrow to do this, but I'll go ahead and put the runway markings on the inside of the flight pods. Still have to mod these openings to allow for more light to come in. So far, so good. Continuing progress in the Galactica build. Finally hit something in this thing that didn't work out well. As you can tell, I've laid down the runway decals in the flight pods and had a nasty problem with both the decal trying to break and not wanting to lay straight. It took me about four tries to get this one even close to right. This one, as you can see, I kind of gave up on. The only good news on this one is that's the starboard flight pod which you're not going to be able to see much of once the pod's assembled anyway. Every model I do has got some kind of hiccup, and this one's found its. I've also gone in and put the control arms on there, put the arms on the flight pods. They're basically waiting for me to get the paint on them to light block it. The good news is they fit snug and right over the wires without any problems. Now I gotta do the guns. Okay, continuing work here. Got the flight deck girders in place on both flight decks now, as well as the decal problem that dealt with mostly. I'm not too worried about it because when you close up the flight deck, the flight pods, you're not gonna really see them. Realize, I've also got the coat of black on here for my light block. I've all gone and tested it with the ship. No lights coming out where it shouldn't be here. I also realized before I put my primer coat on that I needed to do one very important thing. I needed to get the name plates on. Like the girders, these are from the 
pair of graphics photo etch set for the kit. I love the fact these are raised just enough to bring it up. I've seen pictures already of how well these work on a painted model. Looking forward to getting this one primed up. After further review, I've decided to go in and go ahead and use the kit supplied plastic guns. They look all right for what I'm doing with the Galactica build. Figure I'll use the photo etch ones on the Solaria. But right now I've got about half the guns in place. I'm figuring I just don't feel like dealing with all that with folding all those guns right now. Paul did a really good job getting them ready, but right now I don't feel ready to deal with them. Okay, all of the guns are in place now. Little antenna on the ends in place. Now, back when I first started this build, I made a comment I want to clarify. I said the, gun, the kit guns were arguably the weakest part of the stock kit. I would like to point out, kudos still go to Mobius for not taking the easy way out on these. These guns are cast as separate pieces, so you get a full 3D effect when you use them on the ship. They could have very easily taken a quick way out and just cast them as raised relief on the surface. So, while the photo etch kit that Paragraphics came out with might be better in quality, these guns are still a far cry from what could have been. 